Hello friends. So what we're going to be talking tonight is recursion. And recursion, um, the reason we're going to be talking about it is because I'm going to be doing a series on sorting algorithms. The next one that I'm going to do is uh, merge sort and that's a recursive algorithm. So having uh, an idea of what recursion is is very important. So it just says recursion in computer science method to where a solution to a problem depends on solutions to smaller instances of the problem as opposed to iteration. So this is recursive rather than iterative. So let's think of an example. Let's say that we wanted to find uh, factorials of uh, 5. Factorials basically just means that we want to find from 1 up until up until 5, we want to add, uh, multiply all of the numbers together. So 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 would equal 120. So the factorial of 5 is 120. Factorial of 6 would be 7, I think 720. Um, so let's think about how we would implement this recursively. Let's make a, let's make a method. We'll call it factorial and we'll give it a number. Okay, and with that number, if the number is less than or equal to 1, then we'll just return the number. Else, we'll do we'll return the number times factorial of number minus 1. All right, cool. So, what does that really mean what we're doing here? This is the recursive element of it. We're calling this method again. We're calling it in itself. So what we need to do is if we had, let's just say, let's do it like this. Let's say that we're giving it 2 is the number that we're giving it. So when we give it 2, it will give us, It will. we call factorial of 2. It will say, okay, 2 is not less than or equal to 1, so it's going to give us a number, which is 2. So it will be 2 times factorial of number minus 1. Number minus 1 is 1, so we call factorial on 1. Factorial on 1 returns, oh, yep, it, it is less than or equal to 1, so it will return 1. So the factorial of 2 will return 2. Let's say that we did it for 3. We do it for 3, it passes in 3, it's not less than or equal to 1, so it will give us 3 right there, so 3 times, then it will run factorial on number minus 1, number minus 1 is factorial of 2, it will run 2 right here, 2 is not less than 1, so it will give us 2 times factorial number 1 minus 1, so it will give us factorial minus 1, which is 1, so it will run here, it is 1, so this will give us 2. So that will give us 6, 3 times 2 is 6, and on and on and on and on. So let's see if it works. Let's do factorial. Well, first of all, let's go to IRB right here. And let's do 1 times 2 times 3 times, well, I'll probably need to put 2 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times, let's do times 5. That gives us 120. Okay, so we know what we're looking after. So let's go P factorial of 5, and let's see if this works. Um, exit IRB, Ruby, recursion. All right, this should give us 120. Boom, 120, cool. Let's see what it is for 6. And these move up very fast, so it's 720. For 7 is 5,000. So that's an introduction to recursion within programming, and recursion is super fundamental and needs to be understood to move forward. I'm going to be doing a, uh, a video on the merge sort algorithm and that's a recursive algorithm that's a sorting al algorithm that's a little bit more complicated. But it's important that you understand recursion before we start that. So yeah, I hope it helped. Yep, yep.